Okay, so right here we're inside the Unity, and what I want to do it is take a terrain, create new, and import. We could use it um, OBG mesh file we have before, but I think it's kind of will be interesting going a little bit different routes, also using high field and generating from there um, by hand without using any additional plugins or other ones, see how it can be done, and also texturing this with images we pre created. So let's see what we can do. First, we need to create terrain, and we're going in our hierarchy, go right there, select on 3D objects, and select terrain, so we can create our terrain. In a terrain, if we look on our properties, and by the way, if you don't see this, if you for some reason in a different mode, just go right there, click on the terrain settings, it will be expanding, and we need to look on this way, terrain resolution, where we have the um, import raw resolution. Okay, so let's go ahead. Before we actually import raw, we need to have a raw image. Inside the Photoshop, if we look, we have um, just opened our high field uh, file. What we want to do, it's save as a raw. But before we do this, uh, how it will project, we actually need to flip it. So because it will match our texture that will after later import. So what we want to do steps for this is go to edit. Actually, you know what? Let's go uncheck this and we'll go to edit, transform and we'll flip vertically. So we'll do that and next file, save. And we'll go and save this as raw. And not just the raw, we'll need to specify the so we know it's a vertically flipping. So let's go ahead and save one. And actually I save different one, file. Be sure I save as Photoshop raw there. Yes, TFF, I want raw, I don't want Photoshop. Okay, we'll go select, set as a vertically, save it. Okay, yep, right here. We want to save um, IBM PC. We, uh, if you have transparency, we don't care this render. So all what we need just to be sure we save IBM PC format. Let's click OK, and now it's image saved. So now we can go back where we was in our Unity going to our import raw let's click right there and we'll select our raw file open and you can see our width and height is about right um, also terrain size and we will modify this um, I'll show you in a second how we can modify inside but you can see it's what's set if you want you also can do it right here as well so we can set actually 19 kilometers it's what it was before by 19 kilometers it's quite a bit large size and height will be about 2000, I think it was height was there. So let's go ahead and click import. And right here we can see we have it our terrain. If you import without setting height, you can always come back to your mesh resolution and change here as well. You can see right here we have it our mesh done and we have it our new terrain. So let's go ahead and rename this just to terrain. So we'll kind of know what is going on. Okay, um, now let's import some materials and we have it our assets directory. So we'll, I'll just take all the materials we created before as PNG, just drag and drop them here. So here are the ambient and all other um, items. So let's go next. We're going actually right here. Let's click and um, create in our assets. And we want to create actually shader or material. So let's go create material. We'll just call this terrain as well. In our material, you notice we have it Alberto, metallic, all these other properties. And what I'm going to do, I just like take terrain. Oops, actually, let's click here, hold the terrain, drag and drop Alberto. So we'll put it right there. Um, metallic is actually zero. We could still drag and drop but it will be 1%, we want zero, so we don't want any metallic. We can also bring normal, actually before we bring normal, let's click on normal map. And I want to um, be sure it's a read write enable. Okay, and a type will just switch to the normal map as well. You know, same as we do, okay, let's apply to that one. Same what we do here, we want it's read write enable. Okay, that one, read write enable. Okay, our normal, set as normal, read, write. Okay, we'll take, not, uh, select back our materials. Select normal, let's put to the normal map. 
now we have it our high map we'll go put it height we have it our occlusions put it right there and we can also use it our depth if you want to use it for any reason we can put it as a detail mask doesn't matter you can apply multiple them so this is our material now we actually can take this material and apply into our terrain so let's go ahead click again on our terrain in our hierarchy so we have our properties open okay next we'll just take our material drag and drop with the terrain standard so okay let me try again right here and place and there you go you can see we applied our material that we created inside the unity so we can go ahead reset maybe run it even closer it's take still kind of generating we're still baking some information so it's still rendering but overall you can see here is our terrain we applied with the maps normals well, all element and here's our terrain we can create it with the image that we can use it inside of course you can set up your atmosphere you can add grass or you can add all other elements and the same way so you can use it your um, maps distribution maps maybe even floor maps that we had before um, if you go and import them and you can use them as a guide for collision maps for placing grass or other elements as well okay, so overall here's a let's zoom out and here's our overview of terrain that we created in the world machine uh, we use it substance to texturing and we'll use it to import as a high field terrain inside the unity and apply our texturing to this to create this terrain for the game if you want to do your 3d game or running around